It is the sort of moment that probably deserves to pass without too much extraneous political comment. President Obama saluting the coffin of Army Sergeant Dale Griffin during the dignified transfer ceremony for Sergeant Griffin at Dover Air Base early yesterday morning. The presence of the President of the United States at this stirring ceremony was to Liz Cheney just too good an opportunity to pass up to take a political whack at President Obama. I don't understand sort of showing up with the White House press pool with photographers and asking family members if you can take pictures. I just, that's really hard for me to, to get my head around. It was a surprising way for the president to choose to do it. I think, you know, what President Bush used to do was to do it without the cameras. Actually, that's not true at all. President George W. Bush didn't attend ceremonies at Dover with or without cameras. He never went. A spokesman for the former president tonight confirming with us that Mr. Bush, in fact, never attended the arrival of an American soldier at Dover. Which means that Liz Cheney is wrong again. This is starting to feel familiar. Not about her opinion about things, but about what she says are the facts of modern American political issues that she's called on to discuss as a pseudo-pundit, as a pseudo-stand-in for her father. Here she is talking about her father, former Vice President Dick Cheney, and the link between Iraq, Al-Qaeda, and 9-11. He has not said that there is a connection between Saddam Hussein and 9-11. So says Liz Cheney. Uh, let's go to the, via the, the, the videotape from the reality-based community. If we're successful in Iraq, we will have struck a major blow right at the heart of uh, the, the base, if you will, the geographic base of the terrorists who've uh, had us under assault now for many years, but most especially on 9-11. Liz Cheney wrong again. She also had this exchange with Joan Walsh from Salon.com on the subject of the prison at Guantanamo and the issue of sending Guantanamo prisoners to the United States. President Bush in June 2009 gave a speech where he said he would close it and he would bring people home and try no, out I'm here. I'm sorry, he President did not say Bush he would bring said terrorists that. onto we the homeland. Also, no, he didn't say that. I'm in fact, in June 2006, not June 2009, but in June 2006, President Bush did say exactly that. I'd like to end Guantanamo. I'd like it to be over with. There are some who need to be tried in U.S. courts. Tried in U.S. courts, as in courts in the U.S., the thing that Liz Cheney says he never said. And then there was Liz Cheney's attack on President Obama and the issue of American exceptionalism. We've now seen several different occasions when he's been on these international trips when he's not been willing to say flat out, you know, I believe in American exceptionalism. And then there's the truth. I believe in American exceptionalism. Liz Cheney, wrong again. And now to my favorite, Liz Cheney's pressure group, Keep America Safe, and its web ad showing clips of her organization receiving critical coverage on this network, interspersed with provocative questions like this one. Why don't they want to debate the issues? Actually, we do want to debate the issues. And as I've said many, many times before, our booking producers have repeatedly called Liz Cheney and invited her to be a guest on this show to, as they say, debate the issues. We called her again today and, as usual, got no response. Why doesn't Liz Cheney want to debate the issues?